Ducks, welcome back for another episode featuring our favorite Disney Ducks. Truth be told, today's subject is not one of my favorites. I'm not sure if he's anyone's favorite, but this is the month of luck and there's only one lucky duck that comes to mind. Gladstone Gander. Gladstone Gander is one of Donald's cousins and most notorious rival in just about everything. He's one of the potential successors for Scrooge's fortune, as well as being an occasional lover to Daisy Duck. His parents are Daphne Duck, Donald's father's sister, and Gustav Gander. Now back in the 50s, his father was Luke Goose. Back then, Gladstone's parents allegedly died from overeating at a free picnic lunch. So he was then therefore adopted by Matilda McDuck, Scrooge's sister, and her husband Ludwig von Drake. This was later changed, scrapping the death of his parents an adoption story and giving him living parents. Parents who appear to have an elitist attitude towards the Duck family. Gladstone has been quoted saying, Us ganders have never associated with you ducks once or twice. Gladstone's trademark is his inconceivable good luck. He inherited his impossible luck from his mother, but the origin of both of their good fortune comes from a traveling painter who had painted the sign of a triple distal fink, or European goldfinch, on Grandma Duck's barn back when Daphne was born. Story goes that the triple distal fink sign had been painted over the entrance and exit of the barn. Over the entrance right side up meant that good luck would be kept in, and the sign upside down over the exit would keep the bad luck out. Daphne was born under this sign, blessing her with amazing luck, and Gladstone was later born on his mother's birthday and under the same sign. There is a negative side effect to getting whatever you want, whenever you want it. Gladstone is irrevocably spoiled. Anything he needs or wants falls into his hands, and if it doesn't, he inevitably ends up in a situation where he will profit in the end. Because of this, Gladstone doesn't understand the feeling of accomplishment. He doesn't know what it feels like to do a good job because he believes work is beneath him. He's a snob and a very obvious foil to Donald Duck, the duck who gets stuck with all the bad luck. Personally, I can only remember one particular instance when Gladstone used his gift for good. In the comic A Christmas for Shacktown, Donald needs money in order to purchase food and gifts for the needy. And when his uncle Scrooge only offers to give half of what he needs, Donald goes to the only other family member he has who could miraculously find the right amount needed at a moment's notice. Gladstone finds a discarded wallet with some cash in it lost in a snowbank. He helps, but he does it begrudgingly. So on one hand, a good guy, on the other, still a selfish goose who prefers to not lift a finger, even when helping someone out. Gladstone just gives me another reason to like Donald so much. While Gladstone gets everything he wants, he isn't thankful for it. Donald, on the other hand, may get knocked down, but he always finds a way back up, no matter how much work it takes to get there. Silly as it may sound, Donald Duck is an inspiration to the disheartened. Thanks for so much for watching, Duck fans. Until next time.